How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of Gold Rush the Game. Now, today, we're going to be hopefully earning a bunch of money in gold because I have a loan I have to pay off, and it's actually spending a lot of my money on a day-to-day -day basis just trying to pay off that loan. Okay, maybe I should slow down a bit because <laughs> this field tank is going everywhere. But yeah, today is going to hopefully be a very lucrative day because I want to buy another mine site. I want to get another mine operation set up. Hopefully by the end of this episode, we will do that. Right now, I'm, uh, well, A, drunkenly going around. Bunch of lag here. The game takes forever to load at this part. There we go. But yes, right now, I need to refuel. We're going to need some more fuel today, most likely, so I figured I'd go do this now. And I want to go, I'm thinking I'm going to pick up the bulldozer as well, just to see how the thing works. I mean, we got the money to do so, so we may as well have fun with that today. And hopefully, that will increase our output quite drastically. Do I see a dump truck? Hold on here. Do we got a new piece of machinery? I was going to go get gas right away, but I'm I after I see this, yeah, this thing is totally new. How much is this? Ah, uh, wow, 148 grand, and that would be so much easier, though. Even the loader can't keep up with your digging pace. Buy a dump truck and load it up. All right, well, maybe we'll buy some more pieces of machinery today instead, now that I see this thing. I mean, this was obviously just added to the game because it was not here before. What? Okay, so we got a bunch of new pieces of machinery. This is great. This means I was getting worried we we're getting to the end of the game, but they are releasing content so quickly I can't even keep up. So now I have to decide. Do I want to get an even... I'm assuming this is even better. It's the final upgrade of your digging claim. Semi-automated belt with buckets that will transport soil from the container to the shaker. Now, I don't know if we need another mine site with that. We're not going to get to this today. That's a little bit too crazy to me. Uh, I'm thinking that might be what the dump truck's for, too. I don't even know if I can use this at the other mine site. So, to play it safe, we're just gonna buy the bulldozer for right now. And we'll see if that increases our operation quite a bit. Uh, because if I can bulldoze the dirt so it's in a big pile, it's going to make gloating it much, much quicker. So, 54 grand for that. Uh, we're going to pick up that. So, we have everything pretty much aside from all the new stuff. So, the dump truck here and then whatever this thing was called. Yeah, this is definitely conveyor belt container. This is definitely what the dump truck's for. I mean, we could probably use the dump truck with our current setup, but I think that's a little bit overkill. All right, so we're going to check out real quick. 54 grand. That's actually not as bad as I thought. Uh, yada, yada, yada. We already know that. Now we can transport that over. All right, so we transported the bulldozer. Let's try the duplex jig again. No, that's still not working. That bothers me so much that we're not able to get that second duplex jig. All right, so we're going to quickly refill, get back there, and, uh, yeah, play with the bulldozer. Where am I going? My truck's over here. All right, refill my truck for $12. This is going to be the big one. Where do I stick it in? I think it's right at the top, isn't it? So I probably got to drop that first. There we go. Pick that out, and there's the gas thing. I love that you have to do everything in this game. Whoa, I didn't mean to climb that ladder. Uh, but you have to, like, open gas lids. You know, you have to pull start engines. Those small details, when they work, I can't even pick this thing up. Oh, it is very, very nice. Okay, I've totally broken this now. Uh... Okay, okay, we're good. We're, we're totally good. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Now, how much is this gonna cost me? This is, yeah, this is not cheap. Uh, my generator is already at, like, 80%, and, uh, it costs 19000 to refuel this, and the generator pretty much uses, well, it does use all that fuel, so that is a lot of money. Now, we got a bunch of gas cans in here. Most of them are actually full, so I think we're good for gas cans. I have so many of them. I did do a little bit of organization, as you can see. Uh, and I did some back at the mine site as well, so we should be good. Let's put this back. Let's be a Upstanding citizen here if it wants to work with me. Are you gonna come out of the ground? All right? I think I broke it. Nope. There we go Okay, we're ready to go. Let's get back to the mine site and uh, play with that bulldozer All right home sweet home. We have made it with the fuel. We didn't crash anywhere and check out this Oh, that is such a cool looking bulldozer. As a kid, I always wanted to use one of these, so this is kind of like a childhood dream of mine. And now it's finally coming true, so let's turn this puppy on. And I'm assuming this one's pretty easy to use as well. There's not many moving parts. Let's check the uh, things out. Blade up, blade down, ripper up. All right, so there's the blade. What's a ripper? Uh, oh, I think that's the, yeah, that's the back thing. Okay, so we can till out the ground if we want to, kind of with that. Uh... I'll get the hang of this thing. That's simple enough. That's all we really need to know. So let's uh, get moving and go make some mounts. So the reason I purchased this thing, the front end loader was having a hard time down here. I was getting it stuck all the time. So I think we got to build some mounds. So what we're going to do is just kind of, ooh, man. 
Uh, okay, this might be a lot harder than I thought. I might need to actually take the time to flatten this out. It is moving it, as you can see. I thought it'd be a lot easier, though. Let's go in from the side, maybe. All right, there we go. We're pushing it, at least. But, oh, yes, that's what I wanted. I want some nice big mounds. So it, it, it's, a, it's a little finicky, as you can see. But at least I flattened the ground a little bit. So we should be able to get in here a lot easier. And you know what? Let's put that other thing down because that should help out a little bit with this. And keep this nice and flat. All right, going to be honest, guys. This is not working <laughs> at all. Uh, I thought it'd be much easier to move the dirt with the bulldozer. It is uh, its actually making things worse, as you can see down here. Maybe I'm not using it right, but... I mean, it's not rocket science. You move dirt. You push dirt with it. And it doesn't seem to be working. Like, when I put these gradients down, it does kind of help, but it also roughens up the ground a little bit as well. And as you can see, I'm just having a hard time. Every now and then, I can get a good wave going like that. That wasn't too bad. Maybe, just maybe, I can keep this going here. But I'm thinking maybe I should go buy the dump truck. Because I don't know if this is going to help me at all with the uh, front-end loader here. I thought... Man, I feel like I just wasted so much money on this, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe I can use this somewhere else. I have no idea. It is making mounds, as you can see. It definitely does do that, but I got all this rough terrain over here. And come on, let's see if we can do it. Okay, now it's actually working a lot better. Gotta love that. I play with it for like 30 minutes, and then the moment I start talking about it, I'm actually having a better time with it. So it is kind of flattening out. Mind you, we got... I mean, this is rough terrain over here to begin with, so that might have been just more of a my bad thing than anything else. I really am curious about that dump truck, though. We do have enough money for it, but just, and we're at, we are going to go in the red soon because of our loan. All right, I am getting the hang of it, guys. Look at this mound over here. It is nighttime. I actually don't want to go through it tonight anymore because that just makes my loan come way quicker. So if we raise the thing just a little bit, I thought I had to keep it on the ground. I can make these huge mounds, and as you can see, it is working. The ground, though, I was hoping to flatten out the ground because I'm having a hard time on this ground uh, getting dirt really, really quickly, and I want it to be quick, so maybe I should push the dirt over on this side. I honestly have no idea. But there we go. Look at that. Those are some serious mounds there. I think we should be good to try it out right now. I'm not going to buy the dump truck just yet. That would be a huge waste of money. All right, the best way to get this thing out of here, because it is a little bit trapped, is to just reset it. All right, and you know what? I can't actually deal with dirt at nighttime. I just, I can't see the dirt. It bothers me. I get stuck in things, so we are going to go to daytime, which is going to spend a little bit of money, but that's okay. Uh, also, you can see I did organize over here. I put all my ropes and stuff in areas. It's much more organized. I should probably just show you in the daytime instead of at night when you can't see anything. But yeah, I got all my stuff over here. Uh, this is pretty much my storage area, if you will, and uh, probably most of the stuff we'll never use again, but at least it's there and it's out of the way. Okay, so now it's daytime. We can actually see how this looks down here. And it's still a little rough, but you can see the flat spots that I was able to push it. Uh, these are the things that are getting my tires stuck, though. You would think with the tires of this size, it would be easy to go through this stuff, but it is not. So, I guess we should turn this on first, make sure everything's all set up. We got the buckets down there, we got the moss mats in, everything looks great over here. So, we gotta just go turn this thing on. How much, uh, oh yeah, we got 89%, so maybe we don't need fuel today, but I am gonna get a lot more gold today as well. So, we'll turn on the shaker, turn on the trommel, and turn on the duplex jig. Is everything, is that on? It's hard to tell. Uh, uh, is that actually, okay, there we go, now it's definitely on. And... I feel like this one, okay, that is definitely on too. It's hard to tell with the little buttons, but we should be shaking and moving, so let's get going and uh, earn some more gold, some legit gold today, because we know how good the output is on this thing. All right, so here we go, the first try. Oh, I hope I don't, let's raise that a little bit. There we go. You can see, oh, yeah, it's not the easiest to get down here, but at least now we got a full load pretty easily, assuming we can back up out of this. Oh, man. See, this is the problem. I get stuck on the littlest of cracks. And now I just made it worse, I think. Come on. And this is why it takes forever to process dirt. I'm just constantly getting stuck. I mean, I didn't do the best of digging over here. I, I will admit that. This is uh, like a minefield over here of small holes. But 
still slightly annoying. So we made our way out, and just my thoughts of having a dump truck down there and something I can constantly put in like we did before, that might actually work out well. Uh, this thing, I mean, it works. It's just I wish it was a bit faster because it takes me forever to get more dirt. All right, well, the first set of dirt, there we go. That's actually quite a bit of it. So that was a good load, but that's only going to give us like 1%. So I'm going to try and get a good amount today, though. We already have almost four ounces of gold. Not that that's that much, but I'm hoping to, you know, at least 10 times that by the end of the day. All right, getting a little bit better. I'm realizing the biggest issue is this hill. So it really is this site. It is not set up the easiest. And I think that's probably intentional. So you want to buy the other sites because trying to make your way up this hill after you have a full load is just, it, it's fun. Let's just say that. It's fun to say the least. And the hydraulics on this thing, I swear, maybe I'm losing my mind, but I feel like they're slowing down. Uh, they're not as good as they once were. I can't even back up right now. Like up this little hill, I don't know what I'm getting stuck on, like that little mound right there, and that's what's slightly frustrating about this setup. It's just any little hill, any little mound really screws me up. You can see the amount of dirt I get is a lot, though, but I just wish this was closer to me. I wish it was faster so I could constantly get dirt going through this so I could make as much money as possible. This works. It's just not optimal. There we go. We got another load, though. So I've been working for about a half a day. I don't even know how much we got. I haven't looked because I don't want to cry to myself to sleep. Uh, we usually don't have too much. Actually, our moss mats are getting filled now, which is nice. We're still only at, only at 5 and 4%, though. So I do want to get a decent amount before we do anything. But I'm thinking maybe the dump truck, maybe a whole new site, though. Because the site really is the issue here. This hill is the death of me. All right, so uh, yeah, safe to assume that bulldozer was a complete waste of money because now I've gotten pretty good with this thing. It just takes a while to get used to each piece of machinery. They all have their own finicky ways of doing things and uh, ways they're good at doing things. So what I found is the best way is to just literally like speed down here and ram right into it. And it's actually very easy to back up when you get rid of all the dirt. It's just so when the dirt gets in the way, that's when you get screwed. So as you can see, it really isn't that bad now. I'm actually gotten pretty good at this, so we should get a full bucket anytime. Well, it's gonna still still gonna take a while. We're at about a full day of mining now, and let's actually see. I can't see from here how full the buckets are, but probably more full than last time at least. And I'm really excited to get 100% of these buckets because you know it's gonna be a lot of gold. So once we're done this, just raise it a bit. Let's just go check, just to see how much we have earned. I love watching this thing, too, because it actually does work. You see the small pieces come out here, and then the more fine pieces come down here. So we're at 20 and 14%. That's odd to me that one bucket is so much more than another. Not really sure why. I just, it bothers me every time I come down here, because I know I'm losing, like, half my gold due to a glitch, maybe. Or maybe I'm just not allowed to have that piece of machinery. Actually, our moss pads, too, are at 16%. So we'll, we'll get to do those today as well, which should be a lot of gold. All right, but we still have a lot more to do. I don't know if I'll get to the full 100%. That's going to take, well, it took 20% and 14% for one day. So it's going to take like five days of in-game time to get even close to 100%. And that's a long time, man. Each day is about 30 to 40 minutes long. All right. Day has turned into night, and we're going to mine right on through this night. It's not so bad when you get used to it. The lights are not the best on this thing, but I've gotten the hang of it. I know exactly where I need to go, so I don't really need to see too well. And, uh, yeah, I'd rather not sleep throughout the night because that just means i got to pay a loan off in the morning. We're still at $200,000, but it takes, I think, I think it's thirteen grand a day, if I remember correctly, which is a lot of money. The, the money is going to deplete very quickly if I don't pay off that loan. So that is prime focus right now. Well, it's even gotten worse. It is now storming out. I don't, I don't think I've seen rain in this game. Look how dark it is, though. I, it is very dark o'clock right now. I cannot see a damn thing. We're at 1.30 in the morning right now. If we go down here... Oh, my God. Did it ever change? I can't see even where my hole is anymore. I might need to change at the daytime because we're digging deep right now. We are very, very deep right now. And I can't see one foot in front of me, so if I get stuck, I am truly screwed. Like, I... Oh, my God. Like, look at the difference. So, yeah, I think we're gonna finish up this bucket here and then turn it to daytime just to make my life a little bit easier. I did it through the majority of the night, and it wasn't too bad. Uh, I'm actually curious to see how much we've dug out because I feel like we're getting deeper and deeper. So, that should be good. We're gonna turn this off. 
have a little snooze, and hopefully it's nice and sunny in the morning time. What are we at right now? 21 and 15? It's hardly changed. What happened? Uh, I have been doing a lot of digging, and that really sucks that it's hardly changed. Okay, I can't even find my camper. That's right, it's over here. In the middle of the forest where you can't even see it. All right, we're gonna wait till dawn, though. Uh, maybe I should have turned off my generator. Doesn't really matter, though. It doesn't seem to burn too much gas. All right, we're at 73%. That's concerning to me. The fact that I only have 21 and 15 now. Maybe I read it wrong the last time, but I believe we were at 20 and 14? And the fact that I did about 20 loads and only got 1% on each, that's very concerning. You know what? I don't think it- is it using any water right now? I can't even see the emblems to tell. Uh, I think I might not have any water going in it, and that could be the reason why- Yeah, you can't even see the damn emblems. It's so hard- yeah, I can't see it. Alright, I'm gonna go check the water. Uh, it's supposed to be green, isn't it? Uh-oh. I think we have a dead pump somewhere, so this one, it's white. I believe white means it's just not on, so maybe either I ran out of gas or something bad happened. How's the pump looking in the back over here? Because this is the main guy. Oh my god, it ran out of gas sometime last night, probably very early into the night, and I just wasted so much time and money on that dirt. So, uh, yeah, you really gotta pay attention to your fuel, I guess. <laughs> That is so frustrating, because I probably would have been at, like, 40%, I want to say, and now we're back to pretty much square one. All right, so we got to make sure, keep these things refilled. Thing is, usually I would notice, because the water stops uh, flowing, you can see the water in the thing. It was so dark, I wasn't able to see it, so... Oh, what the... What is going on? Ah, there we go. I just had to turn it off and on. Okay, we should be good now. Uh, we usually only need one pump on. That should hopefully be green now. And yes, water is moving. So, crisis averted. It really sucks how much I mined out, though, because if you look down here, you can really see where I've been mining. The dirt started way up here. So we've pushed it back. Well, at least I think it started. It's pretty much been right to about here. And we pushed it all the way back, and we basically just got a huge wall of it now. All right, it looks like another day is about to end, and uh, we're doing pretty good this time. At least we have water going through the damn machine and not totally wasting my time. Now, I have been looking at the clock. I've been mining for about two and a half hours, and I gotta be honest, this gets to you after two and a half hours. Uh, yeah, this game's very fun, but when you do the same thing over and over again, you know, time and time again, you start to lose your mind a little bit, guys. So I think I'm going to, uh, well, first of all, I want to see how much gold we get out of this, but I think I'm done, guys. I think I, I kind of want to move on. I want to go to a different land site, hopefully one that's a little bit easier. Like I said, this one is not the easiest to get the dirt from point A to point B. So, I hate to say this, but I might even cheat the game, considering I lost so much dirt. I mean, basically a full night of dirt. That is a lot uh, gone. I think I might cheat and add some gold to my coffers here, just because uh, I want to get as much done as possible today so we can get the new plot of land and, uh, yeah, experience some new stuff in this game. So, don't get me wrong, this is fun. But, in typical simulator fashion, after a while, it just is it's too much. So, how, how are we doing? We're at 43 and 30. I was hoping for a little bit more than that. So, yeah, I'm gonna cheat it right now. So, how you cheat in this game is you just literally type gold. And BAM! Look at that! I got 100 ounces of gold in the top right. That's gonna help us out with buying the next plot of land and mostly paying off this stupid loan that I stupidly got. I, uh... I definitely did need a loan, but not a se I think I got a $700,000 loan, didn't I? Uh, so let's sleep till dawn now that we actually have some money, and, uh, yeah, now we're gonna go extract the gold. Alright, so we'll deal with the moss pads later, let's deal with the, the good stuff first, the actual gold, just to see how much we got. I'm hoping for at least 10 ounces. I gotta assume there's at least that in here. Is this the- yeah, that's the pay dirt right there. Uh, I gotta assume we'll get 10 ounces today. That better be what we get, because I'm gonna be pretty mad if it's not. Now, I guess we're probably not gonna be able to get the pay dirt out of here. It looks like... Did it reset? Because I, I was collecting it, and now there's looks like there's nothing in there. Well, that's a little bit of a bummer. Actually, we do need some fuel, too, so let's go grab a gas can here. Uh, this one probably has... Nope, that one's actually empty. This one's full, or close to, so we'll put this over here. Actually, we may as well just fill this up right now. There we go, and let's uh, turn off this since we don't want to waste this again. I mean, fuel is just a pain in the butt in this game. Uh, the amount that you need. Okay, so that's good. We'll throw that over there. 
Turn this sucker on. And... Actually, what was it already on? I, I guess I think I... There we go. Now it's on. And I think that's connected, yes, to this. So we want to unplug that. Plug this in. And let's get to the dirt. Actually, is there water? No, there's not water going through that because it's not green. So, man, I almost forgot about that. That would have been a bad thing. There we go. Now that's green. Everything's good to go. And here's all the good stuff. Is this just a random? Yes, that's just a random empty bucket. So, give me the good stuff. We are 20, 30, 40% and 5% filled. So, I guess we can probably do both. Hopefully, I don't regret this. This better not go over 100%. No, we're only at 66 and 8%. So, at least we're at 66, the good stuff. That's the gold. So, we're going to bring that over here. Uh, you know what? Let's just do it right now. We still have to do the moss mats, but we may as well do this before, you know, something bad happens to it. Maybe it vanishes or something. All right, do the old plug switcheroo here. There we go. Uh, oh, actually, it says there's no power. Did I do it wrong? Which plug is it? All right. I, I should really organize here. No, that's actually, maybe I just got to turn it on which is probably the case. There we go. Now we just need the water turned on. I think I turned that off accidentally. Now we're good to go. So here's the fun stuff. Oh, please give me so we're at a, almost 104 right now. If we can get a hunt to 114, I'll be very happy with this bucket. I don't know if it's going to be that much, though. Oh, my God. Gold mining is hard work. Let me just say that. 110 and wave table is done processing the soil. So we only got seven ounces of gold in that. I gotta be honest, I'm pretty glad I did cheat. I know some people are not gonna be too happy about that, but you know what? I, I, <laughs> I have seen enough of this mine site. I wanna move on. This game is definitely a simulator and uh, it takes forever to do everything. All right, let's hope there's lots of gold in these moss mats though. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna double dip these things. Uh, actually, nope, the, there's no gold in the miner mosses. Okay, that's actually really convenient. I didn't know if, uh, it told you or not. So there we go. We are getting, ugh, that, that is not much gold. Guys, <laughs> not much gold at all. Okay, so I think we can do all of them all at once. Uh, just because it's basically just soaking them out. So we don't have to worry about the gold being overflown in this thing. So let's just quickly do the rest of these. And hopefully we get a little bit of a better yield. Oh, this is, this is a little bit of a bummer. All right, so it's one each. At least now I know. All right, and you can see the water changing color just a little bit. I'm trying it twice just in case. Uh, is this... Okay, it's not maxed out yet. Then again, you never know. Let's just hit it again. Okay, we're not able to do it. So the, the gold's definitely going out of these. Uh, and the color is not changing. You need to clean... Okay, so that's a maxed out bucket. It didn't let me do the final thing. So let's see if we can get 111 even. I'll be happy. All right, I gotta go get some more water. Well, that's doing that. Man, this miner's moss. I, I, I was hoping for a little bit more than this. I gotta be honest. Gold mining is never easy, I guess. All right, and there's the final one. That is all of my miner's moss done. And all the gold done. So... Weird, like seven, eight ounces, something like that. And I cheated a hundred <laughs> ounces. Oh, uh, I, 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 I honestly expected to get way more than that, so I felt like cheating wouldn't be that big a deal. But clearly, gold mining is hard business. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna head back to town and hit our gas tank, evidently. But yeah, we're gonna head back to town. I'm not gonna be able to use the uh, magnetite separator today. Still wanting to use that thing to see how much money that is, but we just don't have enough gold to do it. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna head back, do a little bit of a burnout, as you can see, and uh, melt our gold down, see how much money we have, and then go from there. I think I am gonna buy my next mine site. I really want to get out of this place. It's been great to me, but it's... Whoa, Jesus. It's time to move on. As you can see, it doesn't like me very much. Alright, so here we are, the gold man. We're at 111 ounces for $111, or $1,111, sorry. Uh, I think he gold losses. I have a 9.99 ounce loss of gold. I want, I guess that's due to the melting process. This is definitely upgraded because we can sell the ore here now. And I think he's charging me more money to do this. So, well, that's interesting. Oh, and it's actually, it has the amount on it now too. And I think it's a bigger size. So finally, they changed the gold. Now let's actually see. We can sell it here, I guess. We don't have to go to the bank. Uh... Per ounce, uh, ooh, ore sale, what? Gold bars, why can't I sell? Well, I sold nothing. That's a little confusing. Do I have to hold it, maybe? 
All right, I might have broke it, or I guess you could just sell the actual gold instead of melting it down. Ah, uh, that's probably it. Uh-oh, I can't. Can I have my gold, please? Uh, I just want... There we go. Okay, let's take this with us. I guess we gotta sell the gold bars at the bank, but if you don't want to melt it down for whatever reason, maybe it's more lucrative. I don't know. Maybe you... If you can't afford to melt it down, probably, that would be the way to earn some money off of it, I guess. So... I guess a quick run over to the bank to see how much this thing's worth. I'm actually curious if we can fully pay off our loan right away. I doubt that's the case, but I'm hoping we can. I just don't want to have to wake up every morning and see me lose like 10 grand. It's it's, it's pretty sad. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Sell gold bars. Okay, $121,000 worth of gold. Not too bad. Now, mind you, some of that, well, a lot of that was cheated, let's be honest here. So I feel a little bad about that. But, you know what? I'm all about going to new areas. So we can either go to Rivertown for 43 grand. You can rent these out, by the way, too. It doesn't say the rent price, and I'm scared to press the button because I don't want to actually rent it. Uh, this one's 91,000 to buy, though. I'm thinking Pine Valley definitely should be the good place. Birds singing, the whispering of the winds, silence, peace. That's how Pine Valley was like a year ago. Now, after the newest geodetic measurements, ooh, that, that's a fancy word, it was discovered that's the biggest golden claim around here. They don't know how much gold there is, but the area to dig is enormous. All right, so that one sounds like that's the one you wanna go to if you wanna earn lots of money. Oh, actually, it says the expected amount of gold here. Dirtiness of the parcel, oh my god, water source. Is there a, is there a water source in the other one? Yes, there's a large creek. Expected amount of gold is 15 and, wait. I thought this one's supposed to have more gold. This one has 20. I'm very confused because this one said it should have a lot of gold in it, but it actually only has a 15. Whatever a 15 is, by the way, uh, this is a higher number. So you know what? I think we're going to try out this one, and then we can always go to this one if you guys want to. But yeah, Rivertown, let's check it out. I own it now. All right, well, it looks like, what is this? Oh, this is Rivertown. All right, that's where I'm supposed to be. So I just got to figure out... Uh, well, that's not the right way. Wait, I think I'm supposed to go... Yeah, this is all those wonky roads, and... Uh, yeah, it's not the easiest place to get into, but check it out, guys! We're at Rivertown! <laughs> oh, I was complaining about the terrain before. I might have made a mistake, because this is looking pretty crazy over here. And this should be my site, though. Hopefully it's a little bit more flat. Yeah, that's looking a little better. But yes, here is my new site. We got it. It's ready to go, and this must be where we build everything. So, uh, this is where I'm going to have to load. And look at all that delicious dirt. So, very similar to the last one, and I totally got it stuck, didn't I? Yeah, I am a genius. All right, well, this is what we're going to be seeing for a while, guys. We are going to buy the upgraded machinery and uh, do a little bit of mining here. I'm just kind of exploring, seeing what we got going on over here. Can we explore this whole old mine site? Kind of looks like we can, which is pretty cool. All right, but I wanted to do one thing. Can I... Oh, I... Does everything get reset to here? Okay, yeah. Unfortunately, now... How am I gonna... I'm gonna have to drive all the way back, aren't I? Uh, I can reset my trailer? Do I have a camper over here? Okay, I have a camper at both areas. But I want to go back and hire someone to work on that site, obviously. Now that we're done that, we we may as well earn money at the place uh, by hiring someone. So where is... I just got to find my car. No big deal. Oh, God. Well, we're going to have some supplies over here. I'm not going to move all of those. Where the heck is my car? Oh, there it is. It's just floating around with the parking brake off over here. Hog pan dig site. Oh, you can actually... Uh, do some old hog panning here if you want to. Okay. So yeah, we'll learn more about our site in the next episode. Looks like we do have a little river source right by here, so that's convenient though. Let's head back to the other site and hire someone to work over there. Hopefully it works. All right, it's been a little bit of a trek, but we are back. Now, if we go over here, I think I gotta spend three grand to hire someone. I doubt we're gonna actually see someone, but that'd be really cool. Uh, workers locked. There we go. Unlock that and awaiting. Okay, we just got to... Well, it says one new awaiting. Oh! Oh, God. I don't know if I want to hire this guy. Work 28%. What does that even mean? I don't even know. That's the only guy we have to choose from, though. Good old Melvin here. I didn't expect a cartoon character. Uh, money. How much does it cost to hire? Cost of hired workers is zero dollars. What? All right, well, we hired him. Now, how do we... Okay, we just gotta... 
Okay, we send him to old Arnold Par Paul's parcel. And for some reason, all we can do is hog pan pump with him and then hog pan no pump. Why can't I assign him to the big machines? The hog pan was the original thing that we did. Oh man, I bet we could have done this for a while. I didn't realize I could hire someone to hog pan for me. I thought it'd be, you know, a legit mining operation. So that's kind of annoying, but uh, that's all we can do. What if we're well, Rivertown? We can't do anything there because there's nothing there. Now, our old Arnold Par Parcel has everything set up, so I thought we'd be able to do more. That's all right. We'll assign the hog pan pump to him, and uh, yeah, I guess we just earned money as he works. All right, well, that was a little anticlimactic. I was hoping to get him to run this whole place. I thought that's how it worked, but I guess that's not the case. Can we see him over here, the little cartoon bastard mining? Uh, yeah, that, that is definitely not the case. But it is set up. Well, it's not, it doesn't have water or anything. I'm assuming he does all that, though. I hope he does all that, or he's just absolutely worthless. So, yeah, we're going to wrap it up here, guys. I know this one was a lot of grinding and not so much of new stuff. We got to play with the bulldozer, though. We unlocked the new area so we can actually do some serious mining in the next one, guys. Uh, we're gonna have to leave this one. I guess the good thing is, though, we can transfer all the equipment I have here and not have to rebuy it. So we are gonna be able to buy those final pieces of equipment in the next one, because we got 250 grand to spend anyways. So I guess that's one major benefit. I was hoping to have multiple mining operations going, but I guess that's not the case. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.